Thermostat set for 75 and 73. Yeah. Yep. No auxiliary heats on, lights not on. Supply air temperature's 96 degrees. Coming out of the vent. Turn the thermostat up. Auxiliary heat should be on. Check the temperature now. Supply air temperature's 97 degrees, but not moving up anymore. Need to check the heaters. This is R22. I haven't moved it to R22, but it doesn't matter. Low side pressure is 56, high side pressure is 216. Measuring the amp draw, each one of the heaters, electric heat strips, no amp, no amperage. When measuring both of the, the electric heat strips. All right. Contactors pulled in, so we should be sending power. We're gonna check the power coming in to the contactor there's zero power so we now we need to check the source the breaker box checking the power from the breaker no voltage but do you know why look at this this is the problem we got voltage coming in but the lug has melted so i think that's it so I gotta replace this box. We got power coming to the box, but no power going to the breaker that feeds the heater kit for the unit. So there's the breaker for the air conditioning side of that package heat pump. Power to the compressor, the fans. And then this power is the heater kit, heat strips, and of course, there's no power going to this breaker. Power going to the box and the air conditioner's running, but we gotta replace the box even though this breaker is most likely bad. So, oh, buzzed a little. Oh man, get a glove. I'm gonna get a flathead screwdriver. Oh, unit buzzed a little. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Definitely need to get this box replaced. All right, I'm gonna get a box. Before I leave, I'm gonna take a picture of this disconnect box with my phone so I can use that as reference. I'm also gonna measure the length. It's a foot, 12 inches, about five inches, and that should be it. So let's go to the store and see if we can find a disconnect box. Also, we've got a 60 amp breaker and a 40 amp breaker. So we need a 100 amp service disconnect. So we're gonna find a 100 amp breaker box that will hold two double pole breakers like this. So this right here is the bars that came out of the box. And if we can replace the lug, then we don't have to replace the whole box this is the 125 amp box that we've got and we'll have to make some major changes so we're going to try to repair what's here we got some discoloration we got some corrosion here and here so both breakers needed to be replaced so we're going to go ahead and replace these breakers replace the breakers and the lug right there that was melted looks good all right, so now measuring the amps on one heater, 19, and then measuring the amps on the, well, whoops, other heater, 20. So 20 and 19, set the meter down, and we've got voltage now. 239 on the line side of the contactor and then 239 on the load side of the contactor so let's go inside and measure the temperature now here's the model number of this heater kit VAY we're gonna figure out what the max fuse is we can see the amperage 36 or 42 we're gonna take this number 110 AB we're gonna go right here to the service fax it says BAY110A and then volts 240 
amps for uh, 42 kilowatt go on over minimum circuit amps is 52 and then the max circuit breaker size should be 60 for that heater kit so that's how we know to make sure we have the right size go down here for max breaker for the air conditioner so this is a three ton 1999 all right the auxiliary light is on so auxiliary heat should be on now we've got the dual index psychrometer measuring temperature of the supply it's now 125 was 126 now 127 so it's going up so it was 97 so now it's much hotter excellent so two new breakers one lug later unit is working properly auxiliary heat is coming on so they should be nice and warm that was about a 300 dollars call so about 300 bucks not bad if you type in electrical lug or breaker box in the google search bar you're going to see that there's different types of lugs breakers breaker boxes i was able to find everything i needed at my local plumbing and supply place so if you've got electrical supply or plumbing supply store near you you can learn a lot from the staff definitely go ask questions it's a great idea so type this in and you'll be able to find information don't forget to check out my playlist hvac tips for technicians hit the like button subscribe and smash that bell ding so you know what i'm doing you've been watching hvac tips for technicians i'm tad and i'll keep you cool if you let me